Barrel strengthened to Category 5 status after it ripped doors, windows and roofs off homes across the Barbados, southeastern Caribbean with devastating winds and storm surge fueled by the Atlantic's record warmth. This hurricane brought devastation to the Windward Islands, where at least one person is dead. Its intensity also marks just the second time an Atlantic hurricane has reached Category 5 status in July after Emily did so on July 17, 2005, according to the National Hurricane Center. Fluctuations in strength are likely during the next day or so, but Beryl is expected to still be near major hurricane intensity as it moves into the Central Caribbean and passes near Jamaica, the National Hurricane Center said. Beryl made landfall on the island of Carayacu in Grenada as the earliest category for storm in the Atlantic, then the National Hurricane Center in Miami said its winds had increased to category 5 strength. Fluctuations in strength, and later a significant weakening, were forecast as the storm pushes further into the Caribbean in the coming days. In Grenada, about 95% of the island has lost power due to Hurricane Beryl, Nila Etienne, press secretary for the office of the Prime Minister, told CNN. Telecommunications across Grenada are down, and some individuals have lost internet service, Etienne explained. All schools and business are closed, including the airport, the secretary said, adding only hospitals and the national police force are currently operational. The airport reported a sustained wind speed of 92 miles per hour and a gust of 121 miles per hour according to the National Hurricane Center. Beryl's arrival marks an exceptionally early start to the Atlantic hurricane season. Father boy, you can't. Throttle forward, boy, man, boy. Shh. 